Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Well, let me introduce my son, Christopher Nez. Maybe Nez 3.0 in the future, maybe. And we have also Alexander. You want to stand up, Alex? Say hi to everybody. 4.0, maybe. <laughs> we'll see what they want to do in their life. But that's our family, and we've been honored to serve you eight years now, being the vice president and then being the president. And these kids, these uh, our children have seen a lot, a lot of your efforts. They have the heart for our Navajo people as well. So I'd like to... Um, introduce to you our vice president uh, nominee comes with a lot of experience he's a veteran he's gone to school and received some higher education degrees and not just him but also his wife is also very educated as well. We call them a power couple here uh, on the Navajo Nation. And so they're gonna talk about their upbringing and then introduce themselves to you and their family. So ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce our vice presidential nominee for the Nez for Prez campaign Chad and Pauline Abeda, ladies and gentlemen, give them a round of applause. Tuajile, New Mexico. Nez Abeda, ladies and gentlemen. Yacht Ace, that was uh, exciting. It was so hard to hold that secret in for a, a long time. Uh, so, so today, Asian get to get out of this stage. She ya, Chad Beta in she. Tuko bajne ajen slido chise bashes chindo kis ani dasha chedo ashi e dasha nalle koye shnalle President Nez for giving me this time. I'm, First Lady for giving me this time to introduce myself and uh, my, my family. Alamo, New Mexico, Eastern Agency, John but I was my family have, has raised me to also respect all faiths. Um, uh, I um, I'd like to introduce who I'm here with today. This is uh, my, my I'd like to introduce my mom. Uh, it's my mom right there, Prince, Prince Celia Beta. Yeah. And I appreciate, I pre um, thank you for being here with me, Mom. And then I was a little phone that he'll ask. See, so a beta. He served as a Navajo Nation police officer for 25 years. And I appreciate that. You've taught me bravery. And, Mom, you've taught me culture, the Navajo language, and love. Yeah. I have here with me is my son, Miles, Miles Abeda, and then my daughter, Haley, and then my nephews, Joseph and uh, Michael, and my nephews, or for now, and I have my beautiful wife right here, and I thank you. Uh, we met about 12 years ago, and I remember at that time when we first met, we made a commitment to help our people to get our education and come back and serve you all. And uh, I appreciate that. And uh, my wife is a, uh, I appreciate support, your love, and uh, uh, so uh, that, that, that's my family. And then I also have my auntie who visited from um, 
San Antonio, Texas. And they, my parents were out in uh, Fort Benning. Uh, my other brother, he's in the army, and he joined the army. And, uh, so when I got the news, I reached out to my mom. I said, "Hey, uh, we, you need to come back, and uh, because there's a potential that I might be a vice president. The show, I mean, a candidate for vice president." And then, so, but she had something else in mind. She wanted to go to the, the Loretta Lynn uh, Ranch, the, uh, the Grand Ole Opry. But um, anyway, but uh, thank you, Mom, for and my parents for coming back all this way. I don't, Edward, he should should that as the cap. And uh, Nora, Nora Morris, eh, hunagasto, tatnas neligi. She's the vice president. She has. She's in the red right there in front of us. And she's uh, representing Tuhajale chapter. Woo! So, uh, President Nez, I appreciate you having this uh, uh, revealing here at the Veterans Memorial Park because I'm a veteran too. And uh, I just, I'd like to remind us that this is uh, important for us that because we value and honor our veterans to a high degree because they've committed their time and effort into the the United States military and uh, so I did four years in the United States Air Force I I served overseas uh, three times and that's that was in support of Operation Enduring Freedom Auto Operation Unified Protector and then like President said I went on and got my undergraduate degree from the University of New Mexico. I got my Juris Doctor degree from the same school as well, the University of New Mexico. And then I followed my wife down to the University of Arizona and that's where I got my advanced degree and that's my LLM. And I got my advanced degree in uh, Indigenous Peoples Law and Policy. I'd like to share a small story really quick too, that whenever, uh, I remember and being an undergrad and President Nez, I think he was the vice president at that time, he was speaking to young Navajo people and President Nez encouraged the younger us generation to come back and serve our people after we get our degrees. Okay, so that stuck with me this whole time and uh, it still continues today that I'm here for you all. And, uh, and so, um, so, President Nez has been has inspired us to come back to the nation and continue the work that they have done so far. And so I, I'm, 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 I'm excited. I'm honored to join the team, and I, I bring I bring to the table um, leadership skills, uh, critical thinking, and I have um, and I plan to use creative solutions to to addressing a lot of these things. And uh, I, I'll be in support of President Snez um, and his uh, platform, and uh, like I like to continue that the work that he's doing so far. And so that's who I am, and I'm honored to be the vice presidential candidate for President Nez and the, the team, the first lady. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so all I ask of everyone, even people on social media. Please, uh, we're asking for your support for these next three months during the general election, Auto, and then four more years. We, we, we'll be here. We'll continue to work together. And I look forward to meeting all of you and um, vote Nez and Abeda. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, right now, I'm, I'm going to give the floor to my wife, Aisha Sabah. Best inna inna hash. Oh. Ahia ha yat e DJ Shehojon she e Paulina Beda yeshia na kaidene enishle bish bich ahi kia ani dashe che ado Italian dashe nalle tojile de nasha. Ahia, President Nez and First Lady, for this opportunity to continue to serve. As my husband said, from the moment we became married, we committed ourselves and our lives to our communities. 
my current work as a school board member with the Tordula Community School Board was for our children right here to make sure that they have services, resources, and the best possible education that our Navajo schools can provide. I'm proud today of my husband, a U.S. Air Force veteran, a law, first generation college graduate, first generation law graduate. Thank you for being a magnificent human being. I have no doubt that President Nez and First Lady have made the best decision bringing you on board. I see, I see your work ethic. I see your heart. You've always wanted to help people no matter what position you were in, no matter where you were, no matter who the people were, what their circumstances were. You're the type of man who helps people. This is where you're supposed to be. You've proven that by getting your education and coming home right away. You've been an amazing husband, a loving father, and I know you're gonna be a fantastic vice president for our nation. My family and I look forward to getting to know you. We open our community and our home to you to please get to know us. We look forward to your support and for this beautiful welcoming back to the nation, back to our home. Hakone. Give a round of applause to the Abedas, ladies and gentlemen. Accomplished you know, young people who have come home to help their people. You know, that's the future of the Navajo Nation. The door is open, young people, for all of you to return home. And there shouldn't be no barriers. But you also have to persevere, right? And you also have to begin to work very hard, just like the Abedas, and like many of you that are here today. Don't take no for an answer, right? Just continue to strive forward. That's who we are as Navajo people. You saw that with our uh, long walk, helping each other out. And you saw that again throughout this pandemic, right? People helping each other out. Our young people coming home to take care of their elders. <laughs> General election, November, gonna Nez Abeda, the Nido Lesh, Keno Slini, Ahota, a Nasini, Kato Lesh, and I want to just end by saying that tomorrow will be in Alamo. Those of you that are in Alamo at three o'clock, we're going to Chad's uh, home community. And then we're going to also be at uh, Pauline's home community of Tohajile at five o'clock tomorrow. So uh, listen out. We'll give you the physical location of where we're going to be tomorrow. It's going to be a celebration. That's where the campaign will restart. I, as you all know, we suspended the campaign for a little bit, right? Because of what happened on Thursday at the Gallup ceremonial uh, parade, night parade. We went through a, a difficult time there. Many of you were there. That's not going to stop us, right? We're going to only become stronger because of that as we move forward into 2022 and into 2023. And so we're going to be reactivating our campaign starting tomorrow at 3 p.m. in Alamo, uh, New Mexico, and Tuajile, New Mexico. And ladies and gentlemen, once again, I want to say thank you to the Abedas. This was a very hard decision, and I'm sure it was a hard decision for the family. But you know what? They came together, and they talked about it, and they prayed about it. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I have peace about this decision. And the, the team that helped vet the vice president, 
thank you so much as well. It was unanimous when we said that the Abedas would be that nominee or that candidate. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being out here. Sorry for uh, interrupting your lunch. You got about 22 minutes to go get a, a quick uh, bite to eat. But thank you so much, everybody. And we'll conclude with the prayer. I'm going to give some time over to Mr. Paulson Chaku to close us in prayer. Our chief of staff, ladies and gentlemen. I know there was rumors out there. They were saying, well, Chaka is going to be the vice president. <laughs> and I said, let's, let's make it worse. Come on, let's walk with me. And we walked together over here. <laughs> Some people were taking pictures. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's uh, close in prayer. <laughs>